Bitte. So, it, uh, it's been a while. And by a while, I mean a few days, so... I'm a bit off my Some game. People. Some people say... I really can't think of a song at the moment, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. So, it looks like we have all the, uh... Blitzball players in one area. We had our first quote-unquote, uh... Boss fight. Actual boss fight with the Sim spawn. So, uh... Yeah. Pretty interesting, uh... Mechanic, even though I wasn't commentating over it at the time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. That seems hella complicated. You can't do it, kid. But don't worry, my boy. You're not the only one. No one else can do it. I'm the best. Yeah, you were the best, Jack. You know, it's kind of easy to do if you break it down, but by the game standards, it's not really uh, that transparent. <laughs> so, try to imitate the Jack shot. Try to imitate the Jack shot. You only get one time to do this, so if you mess it up, you can't do it again. <laughs> Yeah, this game is obsession with Blitzball is uh, bit out there. <laughs> so I know that there's that one that one developer that works so hard on this one aspect of the game, but yeah, it's so uninteresting. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. I mean, you don't play Final Fantasy games for the side stuff, do you? Well, maybe beat the main game the first time through, and then you kind of go back and want to do other stuff. You so can't no do one it, else kid. can do it. Okay, that was confusing. Told you you couldn't do it. Eject. Anyone ever tell you you're kind of an asshole? <laughs> and that's littering. It's like a thousand dollar fine, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, stop trying to impress her, man. <laughs> she already wants the duh. The duh. The dirt in the puh. Hey, Yuna. You wanna let me draw you? <laughs> you tried to do a jack shot, right? Uh. How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. He. <laughs> He called it the Sublimely Magnificent Jacked Shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You but know I guess what? the people call it! There is no 
Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> you were jelly. You were mad. You were just jealous. Admit it. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. Mm. It's kind of like Darth Vader. But Sir Jekt was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. Yeah. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? I will murder him super hard. Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well, well, actually, Titus doesn't kill him. I'd probably just smack him one. After oh, you could do more than that, Titus. <laughs> and because he was famous, I was always. Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm. Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But. The honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ooh! But, oh. <laughs> hey, it's past your bedtime, kiddos. So you're not like Sebastian. Think you're not encouraging. Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was going to happen. Oh, and these yeah. these feelings that... of mine are usually right. Yeah, that's something sure, bad. Sure, I had told Waka I'd <laughs> help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. And that's why you screwed over your team super hard. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, it's, it's not a secret. I mean, he's not... He says not in the game. I mean, he's kind of confused. So, yeah, when we get to the uh, Blitzball tournament, he's going to screw over his team super hard. And I mean, super, super hard. <laughs> but I get some good loot, though. It's all about that loot. Damn the tournament! <laughs> Just like in the commercial. This event is sponsored by Yevin. Hey, did you know Yevin was the reason you people are in this situation? <laughs> oh, wait. <clears throat> Let me shut up about that. This is in game stuff. <laughs> ah, over there. The ships carrying the players are arriving now. This would be dock number two. All the way from Killiga, it's the Killiga Beasts! Wow, that's an inspired name. Their hometown was recently attacked by Sin. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Yes, Baba. They're going to be pulling out all the stops to try and bring back the cup this year. Exciting, isn't it, folks? Our next team off the ramp is... Well, well, well. If it isn't, the Basaid Aurox. They're a living, breathing, statistical impossibility. I've never wow. seen a team this bad. <laughs> That's right. In 23 years, they've never made it past the first round. Shit. Only a few die-hard fans are in the audience today. Best of luck to them and a safe journey back to Bisset. Wow. <laughs> they got trashing us, man. Our next team is... Here they are, folks. Our very own Luca Goer. 
Yeah, the only professional team here. <laughs> Yeah, you want to know why? It's because you don't have to protect summoners every year, so every ten years. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. Yeah, because now you know they're not part timers like we are. <laughs> Look at Titus, throwing a fit. Hey, it's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. Stop right there, goers! You guys are smiling now, but not for long! <laughs> the this year, us Korox are taking the cup! Hey, Titus, what I tell you about blowing smoke up your own ass, man? Why Come on. <laughs> name when you're doing up there? Yeah, because if we you lose, yeah, you're going to look like a big we jackass. <laughs> you know what? We were? Maester Micah is here. Who? Already? The number three doc. What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived. That's what. Micah? Maester Micah? Maester? Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's all go see him. Say, so, I find it kind of funny that Bavel... What? No, no. Let me, let me stop. I was about to say something stupid. <laughs> I had to check my lore first in my brain. Bavel, the Machina City, and the Nazanarkin, the Holy City, the City of Yevon. Ooh, City Sphere. So are you gonna give me shit? Come on, give me items! I want some remedies, maybe some holies. <laughs> Two people never give me. You see, guardians have a part-time job. They have to watch the summoner and train for Blitzball. You can't be a professional team like the Luger Goers because basically they don't have any guarding duties. That's why they're so damn good. You know, just saying. And nobody's giving any loves to all their teams coming out. <laughs> Where's that spiky blue haired motherfucker? Mm, can't see a thing. I mean, motherfucker. Sorry. Yeah, forgot. I have to tone down the language. Mr. Micah, here he comes. Boo! You suck, asshole! <laughs> Stalker. Guado, right? Guado, motherfucker. Who could it be? Isn't that Maester Seymour? I know about your fetish. <laughs> Hey, there's the mace that ran like a little bitch. <laughs> That's like game stuff. I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Mr. Seymour. And all of you as well. 
I present to you the son of Mr. Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fort Night Pass. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. You too, bow your head. Eh, fuck that guy. I mean, frack that guy. <laughs> He's already even. What the fuck? <laughs> really psychs you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Also, he already took one look at Yuna. He's like, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> the things I would do to her, I would wreck that chick. But then again, while he's wrecking Yuna, he's taking the Vinaleska. <laughs> and you'll, well, you'll, you'll eventually see why. Well, look. Yeah, yeah, the dog just told me to spoil it, so I'm gonna spoil it. <laughs> Where's Waka? At the matchup draws. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Captain Walker! <laughs> we're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right, we got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. <laughs> I think they did this first out of pity. Let's go over the basics again, boys. Why am I watching cops dance on TV? Okay, well, uh, uh, apparently I missed something. Oh my gosh, like, do you want to learn Blitzball? Well, uh, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to dip out for a minute or two. <laughs> Oh god. The like, please learn this interesting game of Blitzball. A game that we hope you will enjoy while you play through Final Fantasy X for your second time. Because we know during the first playthrough you may not like this game because it is a heavily acquired take. <laughs> you're, you're just gonna show on my parade, aren't you? <laughs> yep, he is. Uh. Yeah, it's a triangle in water. Is this supposed to be re a representation of a vagina? <laughs> a wet vagina? You know, they could have at least let me practice this kind of uh, in a simulation or something rather than just have, oh, here's the uh, basis of Blitz Ball right before a major tournament. So this is like a recipe for disaster here. So yeah, let's teach you, let us teach you the controls to a really complex game of skill and apparently leveling up because apparently in Blitz Ball you get, um, there are status effects, <laughs> and I'm like, e no. 
It's like, I would pass, but I don't know how to get out this shit. <laughs> Luca Goers, the Albert Sykes. See, I'm trying to exit. I'm like, it won't let me exit. Oh my god, we're gonna go through all this shit. <laughs> okay. You know, if this guy was such a star player, why does he start at level one like everybody else? <laughs> I mean, I know it was supposedly a thousand years since uh, he uh, had his first encounter with Daddy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he shouldn't have rusted that much. I mean, come on. And then again, too, this is the only way to get Waka's uh, quote unquote like celestial weapon. Which, uh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel like placing third overall in a tournament to, uh. get a fancy smancy ball that can actually, uh, unlock one of the Aeon's, um. limit breakers. <laughs> I like my Aeons doing 9,999 damage. I mean, that's just, that's fine with me. I'm not a, I'm not a greedy person in an RPG. Then again, there are some of those bosses that come along later that are kind of a pain in the ass. And you're like, you know what? I just want to get through you. So uh, I'm just going to, just going to call out my, uh, my main man Bahamut here. And uh, I'm going to have him just do his Mega Flare. And uh, hopefully it'll do a shit ton of damage to to you guys, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. And that dark flame? Frack him! Frack that dark flame. It's like, in order to kill it, it's like, in order to kill it legitly, you have to get all our liches on it. <laughs> More on that later. In the playthrough. Or let's play. Or whatever this is. Let's play. Let's just call it Let's Play. Just imagine if this was like a real thing. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, it's so boring. It's like golf. <laughs> So, why can't this be like 2K? Come on! <laughs> it's like Blitzball 2K17. Coming soon. With updated rosters, slightly updated graphics, and practice modes. Oh, and there's a story this time. A star blitzball player. Fallen. Now he must seek redemption in a world that is against him. You know, learning this game is a bit like going to school. They expect you to learn a crap ton of shit within a short amount of time and then test you on how much you can remember all that crap with a final exam. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna remember half this shit when it when it comes down to the real game. So uh yeah. We are we are destined to fail here. See I'm a fighter. I'm here to save the world. That's what I do.
it's like the only game I remember where like an actual sport ended up saving the world was uh, think uh, oh god what's it called uh, it was called Space Jam Gaiden it's basically a, a sequel to the movie Space Jam but made an RPG maker and I know the Switcher guys played it a while back and it was a really, really, really good RPG. <laughs> and yeah, in that game, sports saved the world. Particularly basketball. The chaos dunk. Yeah, in that game, Michael Jordan was a was a bad guy, and Charles Barkley was a was a good guy. <laughs> You know, music in this section would have been really nice. Some background tunes to kind of keep you entertained. First, it's learning all this in silence. Where it's like, hmm, yes. This must be what most Japanese classrooms are like. Just super, super quiet. So I kick it like a soccer ball. I mean, if you have to hold your breath underwater, if you get kind of exhausted, I mean, you can't exactly, like, you know, pant like you do in real life. Like, because if you do that underwater, you're basically dead. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It's like, no one of these games are only five minutes long. In a world where there's only one sport, everyone is a pro. Blitzball. Sponsored by no one. <laughs> I see everybody's in uniform except for Titus. <laughs> He's not, that's not Team Spirit. <laughs> Imagine if NBA 2K was like an RPG in which if you had a random encounter with another player basically had to go through like a series of like turn based like strategy just to either get around them or to shoot the ball and yeah that's that's not gonna work out. <laughs> 